say to me, are you saying that T-Rex lived beside Adam? T-Rex Yes. T-Rex with all those teeth? Wouldn't Adam have been a little worried about those teeth? Particularly when T-Rex was thinking about lunch. Well, no, because we need to understand the next age of dinosaurs, we call it the fearless age. See, originally, before sin, Adam and Eve and the animals, land animals, were all vegetarian. It wasn't until after Noah's flood that humans were told they could eat meat. Now, here's another problem for Christians who believe in millions of years. Not only is there death and disease and thorns before sin, if you believe in millions of years, but there's many examples in the fossil record of animals that were eating other animals. Bones in their stomach. Teeth marks on bones. How could that be millions of years before man when originally, before sin, all the animals were vegetarian? It's just another reason why you can't add millions of years to the Bible. So originally, the diet of animals and people was something like that. So originally, T. Rex's diet was fruits, vegetables, vegetation. And people say, but T-Rex had sharp teeth. That means he's obviously a meat eater. And I say, no, he's obviously got sharp teeth. Sharp teeth is what you observe. If you say it was always a meat eater, that's an interpretation. And you see, you're going to need sharp teeth if you eat all sorts of fruits and vegetables anyway. Look at this skull. There's some sharp teeth there. That's actually the skull of a giant panda, which primarily eats bamboo. This is a fierce looking animal. It's in Australia. And it flies around Australia and it eats fruit. It's a fruit bat. Now people often look at this monkey from South America and say, what does it eat? I guess anything it wants. But actually, it's a vegetarian. See, cause just because you have sharp teeth doesn't mean it's a meat eater. It means it has sharp teeth. You know, bears have teeth that look somewhat like a tiger or, or a lion, and yet most bears are primarily vegetarian. This is a polar bear from SeaWorld in Australia. And when they list its diet, you see it eats meat, but it also eats vegetables and fruits. From a, from a biblical perspective, originally all the animals were vegetarian. Man didn't fear the animals, and the animals didn't fear man. Totally different to today's world. Because things change. Because of the fallen age. 
The entrance of sin and death. See, today animals eat animals, people eat animals, animals even eat people. What happened? Well, everything changed because of sin. Adam was told to eat of all the trees except one as a test of obedience. When Adam took the fruit, he rebelled against God, that caused sin. That's why we're all sinners. Because we're descendants of Adam. And that sin separated us from God. And the first death was in the garden when God killed an animal to clothe Adam and Eve. So the first was a promise that God would provide a solution for man's sin. In fact, the first time the gospel is preached is in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. There was a promise of, of, of the seed, of the, the, the seed that will be Jesus. So originally before sin, animals were vegetarian, there was no death, no disease, no thorn. But sin changed all that. Because of sin, there came thorns. Animals started eating each other. It was a different world. But the point is, you couldn't have dead dinosaurs with diseases and eating each other millions of years before Adam sinned. See, if you believe in millions of years, you've got dinosaurs with evidence of disease, you've got animals eating each other before sin. I keep emphasizing this to you because it's a very important point. You can't add millions of years to the Bible. Because if you do, you might as well throw the Bible away. It would mean you can't trust it. And God doesn't mean what he says. The Bible also says that creation groans because of sin. Remember what I said earlier, if you believe in millions of years, it's always been growing. But Paul makes clear in Romans 8, sin changed everything. We don't know when the animal diets changed, but after sin, obvious, it's obvious that animals, certain animals started eating other animals. The reason we know that is because in the fossil record, which we believe is the result of the flood, you find evidence of animals eating each other. So at least some animals started eating other animals before the flood. But remember, it wasn't until after the flood that humans were told they could eat meat in Genesis 9, verse 3. So see, now we're entering the flood age. When God told a man called Noah to build a boat. And that God was going to flood the world. As a judgment. And that God was going to send to Noah. He didn't have to go out and find them. God would send to Noah two of every kind of land dwelling, air breathing animal. Seven of some and two of every. So 
So if every kind of land animal is represented on Noah's Ark, then dinosaurs are represented on Noah's Ark. So she But people say that they couldn't fit. But remember, the average size of a dinosaur is only the size of a sheep. Many were smaller than that. It is true, some grew to large sizes. Particularly your sauropods. But most dinosaurs were not that big. And regardless of how big, dinosaurs laid eggs. And the biggest egg we found is about the size of a football. So whether it was a T-Rex or a sauropod, when they hatched out an egg, they weren't that big. Now, I don't think God sent baby dinosaurs on the ark. But I think he would send young adults. And a young adult sauropod wouldn't be really that big. Now, people also say, but weren't there too many dinosaurs to fit on the ark? There's over 600 different names of dinosaurs. But there weren't 600 kinds. Remember when we talked about dogs? Lots of different names of dogs. But they're all the one kind. So only two dogs were needed on Noah's Ark. We already dealt with that in detail in the previous session. Now with dinosaurs, there wasn't just one kind of dinosaur. There are a number of different kinds. But there are many different names given to the Triceratops kind. Many different names given to the sauropod kind. Creation scientists believe there were less than 50 actual kinds of dinosaurs. And most of them were not that big. So there's plenty of room on the ark. So the dinosaurs along with other animals were on board Noah's Ark. ですから、これらの動物は恐竜も含めて箱舟の中に入っていったと思います。There was plenty of room. そこには十分あります。場所が。Because Noah's Ark didn't look like that. それはノアの箱舟はこのような形をしてたわけではなく。So again, it's very important to teach children the truth. これはこどもにしっかりと真実を教える必要がありますね。Because when you say to children, could Noah fit the animals on that ark? もしこのようなこのお箱舟を見せるならば、これにはちょっとすべての動物は入らないでしょう。They would say no. But could he fit them on that ark? And the answer is yes. Would this ark survive the flood? And the answer is no. But this ark would. So we need to make sure that they see Noah's ark as it really was. ですから、実際のものをこうやって示す必要がありますね。And what do you think was happening during those seven days? Well, in Peter, we're told that Noah was a preacher of righteousness. I think Noah was standing at the doorway to the ark. I think he was looking at all the pre-flood people. And he was preaching to them. God's word is true. There's a flood coming. But God's provided an ark of salvation. Animals are on board, our families on board, 